Hello everyone, welcome to Grade Up, and I welcome you to a session, a free session on the one of the most important areas of science and technology for UPSC and other competitive examinations, which is basically the genetic engineering and the recent advances in genetic engineering. Okay, so we've been seeing many questions being asked on genetic engineering, like recently in the UPSC prelims 2009-2020. The I mean this which happened. Uh, 10 days back in that prelims we've seen a direct question from genetic engineering similarly last year also there was a question uh, related to genetic engineering and in mains also before last year there was a question related to genetic engineering the stem cell therapy and so on so every year we've been seeing consistent questions on genetic engineering and the uh, recombinant dna technology and this year it becomes even more important as uh, the nobel prize in chemistry 2020, it was awarded to two women uh, for their works on CRISPR-Cas9, which is basically the central uh, poster boy of genetic engineering or our DNA technology. Okay, so let us begin our class where we shall see the aspects related to the how the genetic engineering came up and what are the various applications to it, and we shall also solve some pre previous year prelims questions from this topic. So as you know. Uh, genetic engineering, what exactly is the word related to? It is basically the genetic modification or simply you can say gene editing. So whenever I'm saying genetic modification or gene editing, all of it I'm relating to the aspect of our DNA technology. So what you're doing is you're changing the genetic material composition of a particular uh, uh, genotype of a particular organism so that it will show in the phenotype. Okay, you'll modify the genotype and so that aapko phenotype may change the king. Like, you know, this is your DNA, a double helical DNA structure. And uh, you have the nitrogenous basis here. So, may yaha pe, imagine if they are like this A, T, C, G, G, T, T, S, A, agar hai aapka sequence, ye aapka ek genotype ban gaya. Okay, if this is a useful uh, application of DNA, then that becomes a genotype. This is your genotype. So if you make any changes here, if you edit this genotype, the changes are reflected in the phenotype. That means what you Phenotype is what can be seen, okay? which is basically the gene expression. Imagine this genotype is a Okay, This particular genotype sequence is my Okay, So if I am changing this genotype, I edit this genetic engineering, se, so, my phenotype, if I want to wear a long hair or thick hair, mujhe. so that's the type phenotype I can get. Okay? That is the aspect of genetic engineering. And this is not new in the sense that changing the genetic uh, structure of an organism is not new. Because since centuries, since the time of uh, Mendel uh, and since the time of you know, uh, genetics, jab se aaya, tab se there have been procedures of hybridization. What do you understand by hybridization? Basically, when you uh, cross two different uh, plants or two different animals when you're crossing it you get hybridization like your mule mule jo hai na jo hamara horse and donkey se banta hai which is a hybrid okay yeah you have something called as liger lion and uh, tiger se liger banta hai all of these are your hybrids so in this what you're doing wo organism ka genetic जो बनना चाहिए उसको अगर टाइगर बनना चाहिए उसको आप चेंज कर रहे हो ताकि वो लाइगर बन रहा है ओके सो ये सदियों से चलता आ रहा है बट द प्रॉब्लम इज बाय दिस देयर आर सम अनडिजायरेबल जीन्स अलोंग विद द डिजायर्ड जीन्स जैसे म्यूल इट कैन विथस्टैंड इट कैन इट कैन गो एट अ फास्टर स्पीड एंड इट कैन विथस्टैंड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस इट कैन ट्रैवल दैट इज अ डिजायर्ड जीन बट देयर आर सम अनडिजायर्ड जीन्स लाइक यू नो म्यूल इज स्टेराइल so it it can't reproduce okay and liger can be problems so they have some genetic abnormalities so as a problem so that's why we have got this concept of genetic engineering just may up genetics or engineering ko milake you are getting a new organism and just say you get only the desired changes of the organism okay and this is in news and there are many recent advances in it because recently this is the news from october 7th October 7th, 2020, jo just last week, hai, aaj 14th. Hai. So last week, 
these two women, Emmanuel Charpentier from France and Jennifer Doudna from USA, both of them, they have won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, okay, for their work on this genetic engineering or gene editing, okay, for their work on gene editing and for their advances in CRISPR-Cas9. What is CRISPR-Cas9? We shall study in depth in this class. Uh, so by using this CRISPR-Cas9 scissors, uh, they have won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and they are the first women only team to win it. Okay, only women only. I mean in chemistry they are the first to win it. Single women have won. Uh, Madam Curie and all, I am sure you are aware of them. But a team. Like seven women they have won before, but a team of two women winning for the first time, Yehua. And their work on uh, gene editing. Just may, the Nobel jury has told these words. Since the researchers can change the DNA of animals, plants and microorganisms with extremely high precision. Right? So that's why it's in news. And uh, because the Nobel Prize has won, you can expect questions in competitive examinations. And for people who are giving the mains also, who are giving the UPSC mains 2020, yeah, if you're preparing for 2021 prelims also, this becomes very important. The CRISPR-Cas9. Okay. So let us see what is genetic engineering before understanding the CRISPR-Cas9 and gene editing. So as you know, genetics, genetics is a study of hereditary material, which is genes. Okay. What are genes? Jo hamara DNA banta hai na? Aisa ek DNA sequence hai. These are your nitrogenous bases. Iska ek meaningful sequence jo hai. It is our gene. A meaningful sequence. Okay, which codes for a particular uh, protein. Which codes? It is your gene. And engineering job, sabko pata hai. It is designing or creating new things. I am sure there are a lot of engineers watching this session. So we were uh, supposed to design and create new things. I'm not sure how many of you are doing it. So anyway, so genetics and engineering, agar milaoge, so you get genetic engineering. So you are altering the genes in an organism to produce a new or useful result in a short period. Okay, unlike hybridization, which is for a, uh, which also gives some undesirable changes. Here you are getting only desirable changes. So you are combining DNA from two or more different organisms. Like you know, agar uh, a jellyfish, hai. jellyfish glow, hota hai, right? So, a jellyfish ka DNA leke ab cat me daloge. So, apko glow in the cat, glow in the dark cat ban sakta hai. Okay? And the central dogma or the central idea of the whole uh, genetic engineering is all through universe, all through universe, all the organisms they comprise of the DNA made from the same adenine, thionine, cytosine, and guanine. In sabke saathi DNA banta hai. The, the changes may be different, the way they are arranged are different, the way they are repeated are different. But the central dogma is all the living organisms, they are comprised of this ATCG nitrogenous basis. So, a organism se dusre organism, you can uh, add this DNA sequences. Okay? So, a genetic engineering ka major uh, application of gene editing hai. You can use both the terms um, alternatively, both are very similar. And this was generated by Paul Berg, Boyer and Cohen. Isme you are doing this only. You are adding or removing or altering the genetic material at particular locations in the genome. Okay. So the gene editing process based on CRISPR-Cas9, it is becoming prominent. And both applications we shall see. Agriculture, animal husbandry, human, um, yeah, you know, for industrial sector also. These are coming in use. The CRISPR-Cas9 or genetic engineering. So, before understanding the process of genetic engineering or the various applications, you should know how genetic engineering is actually done. What is the method of taking up the uh, genetic engineering? Right? So, we have various steps. So, genetic engineering, just may I told you, isolate a gene segment and you clone into multiple copies or you can edit it by cutting it. So, may there are various steps. Sabse pehle, we prepare our desired gene. Okay, the gene which we require. Like, agar uh, baalon ka baat kiya tha na, so baalon ka hai, well, let's stick to it. So, if you need uh, thick hair or, you know, luscious, long hair, so, what desired gene kaun sa hai? From a particular person who has that uh, required uh, hair cell apko jo hai, wo gene ap loge. Okay, or you can even artificially synthesize it. Please note, 
This was done in USA last year, in 2019 itself, 2018-2019. Now they are artificially synthesizing DNA. After the Human Genome Project uh, and various methods of genome sequencing gave up, they are making their own DNA. Watson and Crick ne, jo DNA which they discovered, which is there naturally in your body. But now they are making, artificially they are making DNA. So, you can artificially a gene bana sakte ho, jisse aapko achhe baal mil sakte. Or you can get it from a good cellular DNA. Okay? And this DNA, it is cut by using special restriction endonucleases. And it is separated on something called as gel electrophoresis. Okay? And how do you identify the gene? You identify by the process called as southern blotting. I'll tell you about it. Uh, but just remember this word, restriction endonucleases. These are your scissors. Okay? figure So this is the whole process of genetic engineering. I'll tell you shortly here and I'll go through the text so that you'll understand. So in a lab, you're taking a plasmid virus which can reproduce, okay, just say aapko clones milenge. And this is your desired gene. You're taking a desired gene and you insert into the virus. And how do you take the desired gene? Basically, a process called as gel electrophoresis, just may aapko SDS page and other types of gel milte. Okay. The agarose gel may it floats. And uh, you take the required DNA, required DNA sample, desired DNA sample, Okay, this is your desired DNA material. You add it to the gel electrophoresis. On the gel electrophoresis, the various uh, tandem repeats or the various uh, parts of the DNA sequence which are required, they get separated. Okay, and you use southern blotting. Now, southern is not your southern or northern. The name of the scientist who invented it is his name is EF Southern. So, it's, it's called southern blotting. Okay, so by the southern blotting, it's basically a radioactive probe. You take the radioactive probe and this radioactive probe, it has the complementary DNA to the required uh, gene. So, up uh, southern blotting, so you'll go through this desired DNA. If you have this desired uh, tandem repeat of the particular bal, ka, this southern blotting, this radioactive probe will go and attach to this. And just say you'll get the desired uh, I mean, exact DNA sequence from the desired uh, material. Okay. This is the exact desired gene. Okay. By the whole process, it's also important in DNA fingerprinting. In DNA fingerprinting, actually, it's discussed in detail. But this is the gist of it. So, first of all, you're taking the desired DNA. Then you're preparing the cloning vector. Because your jo DNA hai, wo sirf ek hai. One desired uh, DNA sequence you have taken, but isko aapko bahut saare banana hai. You should make a mass culture of cells. So you use something called as cloning vectors. Now these vectors are the DNA, just say you carry and you uh, give it to the host cell. Okay? And uh, inko plasmids bhi bolte. The generally the ones are used as bacterial plasmids and bacteriophages. And the modified plasmids are called as cosmids or phagmids. So plasmids lete and then you prepare the recombinant DNA. How do you prepare the recombinant DNA? You the desired DNA sequence you are playing or vector say you are and the host cell ka DNA se wo ligate hota hai by the enzyme called as ligase. Okay, the desired gene to vector we have added. Usko you are adding by a ligase enzyme jisse wo banta hai. Just two words you remember. Please remember two words for me. The first is your restriction endonuclease, which is for cutting. And the ligase, it is for joining. So any answer when you're writing, if it's too technical for you, understanding genetic engineering, at least these two words you should remember. Restriction endonuclease and ligase. And uh, again later in the host also, you cut at that point by the restriction endonuclease and both are added by your ligase enzyme. Ultimately, you get Recombinant DNA. You can see this figure. You can see cells in the patient. The lab may virus alter so that you know, it cannot reproduce for some time. Uh, then you take the desired gene, uh, gene or the DNA sequence and you add it to the virus. 
then the virus is added to your host cells and then the host cells they are added to the patient so ultimately the cells of the patient they become genetically altered by this process okay and it is added to the patient like agar insulin hai insulin gene is most commonly produced and used so jo usko humulin bolte hai human insulin kyunki pehle aise tha what is basically insulin insulin is basically the beta cells which are produced by your uh, islets of langerhans and pancreas pancreas mein milte hai insulin and these are important for uh, breaking down the sugars okay insulin but for people who don't have this insulin <coughs> they suffer from so the diabetes diabetes mellitus or diabetes type 1 say they suffer so they need insulin uh, to be produced in their body so pehle aise hota tha like the insulin was taken from the pigs or cows but because it's an other species usse bahut allergic re- re- uh, reactions hote the humans mein so that's the reason why uh, by the methods of this genetic engineering insulin was produced in mass so the insulin gene was taken up insulin gene agar ye insulin gene hai ye vector mein daloge and us vector se like the e coli bacteria aur us vector se host mein daloge and you get a lot of insulin you get a uh, mass culture of insulin and later that insulin can be added to your body right so as i've told you the steps i mean the figure i've showed you the entire steps but basically before you put in the host cell you also use something called as calcium chloride if you can remember it's fine kyunki host cell ka permeability badhta hai isse when you're adding the recombinant dna into the host cell for it to multiply you apply calcium chloride jisse permeability badhta hai and one more important point is see when you're taking the rdna agar ye ek cell of tissue se okay isme aapko host cells hai these are your host cells of e coli and isko you are adding the rdna okay some get recombined but some don't get recombined some aise reh jate hain so we don't want to insert them back to the human cell because usse concentration bhi kam ho jata hai so you use a marker called as tetracyclic resistance tetracyclic resistance wo marker use karte hain jisse aapka jo normal host cells hai which are not recombined or ligased लाइगेस एंजाइम से ऐड नहीं हुए वो हट जाते दीस आर एलिमिनेटेड बाई एडिंग टीसीआर इफ अनदर टर्म यू कैन रिमेम्बर रेस्ट्रिक्शन इन न्यूक्लियस लाइगेस मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी बोला प्लीज याद कीजिए टीसीआर भी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेम्बर यू कैन रिमेम्बर ओके एंड अल्टीमेटली जो होस्ट सेल्स है दे कीप ऑन ग्रोइंग एंड देर इज द मास कल्चर ऑफ द होस्ट सेल्स ओके एंड जो फाइनल हमें सेल्स मिलते हैं दे आर कॉल्ड एज योर ट्रांसफॉर्म सेल्स finally the required product is extracted like insulin agar aap culture kar rahe ho to humulin hai and another figure hai uh, jisse aur bhi aapko detail aapko pata chal raha hai ligation kaise ho raha hai or how you are producing by genetic engineering foreign dna aap le rahe ho which is the desired dna restriction endonuclease se aap cut kar rahe ho then uh, dna ligase se they are add like see then e coli these are your plasmids or vectors plasmid vector dna bhi le rahe ho and by ligasing the r dna is formed ligase is basically joining so by the ligase a desired dna and the plasmid plasmid ka vector dna they are joined and ultimately they are introduced into the e coli host cell okay e coli host cell will then rapidly multiplicate and you get your clones of cells depending upon Uh, which position or which plasmids where they are introduced you get various other clones of the cells fine so that is all about genetic engineering and isi ko it is used bar bar in several applications it can be used in genetic gene editing it can be used in gene therapy it can it can be used you know for preparing the recombinant vaccines or treating the diseases ya genome sequencing mein sab mein the genetic engineering common hai right एंड अब आते हैं मुद्दे पे मतलब रीसेंट एडवांस पे जो हमारा क्रिस्पर कैस ने सो ये भाई साहब है हमारा हे जुआन कोई हे जियान क्यूई चाइना के शेंजिन एरिया में यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में ही बेसिकली यूज क्रिस्पर कैस ने एंड ही क्रिएट जीन एडिटेड बेबीज ओके बिकॉज बेसिकली द पेरेंट्स आई मीन दैड एच आई वी ऑफ द बेबीज 
सो ही हैड जेनेटिकली एडिटेड दैट बेबी का एम्ब्रियो में जिससे नाउ दिल गेट अ लाइफ टाइम प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम एच आई वी सो अगर वहां एक सीक्वेंस था ऐसा एक सीक्वेंस था एंड ये इट इज कॉजिंग एच आई वी मानो द प्रॉपर डीएनए सीक्वेंस इसने वो एडिट कर दिया इसने दट सीक्वेंस को करेक्ट वाला सीक्वेंस ही हैज एडिड जिससे अभी एच आई वी नहीं बनेगा मतलब द चाइल्ड वोट बी एफेक्टेड बाई एच आई वी ओके एंड एड्स वोट बी सीन so the process he has used in this i mean the tool he has used in this is the crispr cas9 work crispr cas9 is basically the clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats now what are these uh, just know that cas9 is basically a bacteria ka protein okay um how should i tell you imagine there is a dna sequence like this ओके ये डीएनए सीक्वेंस है ये कैस नाइन जो प्रोटीन है इज द कैस नाइन प्रोटीन दिस हैज द गाइडिंग आरएनए इन इट एंड दिस विल बेसिकली कट इट इट विल कट अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया फ्रॉम द इट विल कट अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया फ्रॉम योर डीएनए ओके योर एंजाइम कॉल्ड एस कैस नाइन इट विल गो इट विल बाइंड दिस फॉर्म एंड इट कट बोथ द स्ट्रांड एक्चुअली इट कट बोथ द स्ट्रांड ऑफ द डीएनए राइट एंड इसको गाइड करता है इज योर गाइड आर एन ए नाउ दिस गाइड आर एन ए विल एक्चुअली गो टू दिस मतलब ये पर्टिकुलर अगर ये पर्टिकुलर दैट एच आई वी फॉर्मिंग डी एन ए सीक्वेंस है इट विल गो देर एंड इट विल कट यर एंड लेटर अनदर सीक्वेंस कैन बी एडेड फाइन सो दे इज अ गाइड आर एन ए विच गोस एंड गाइड्स एट द डी एन ए सीक्वेंस एंड द कैसेन इज अ प्रोटीन विच एक्चुअली कट्स इट ओके कैसेन एंड विच एक्चुअली कट्स इट द टू बिट्स ऑफ द डी एन ए okay this can be removed or it can also be added at that point it can be added <coughs> fine that is about crispr cas9 now let us see the applications part of the rdna technology so as i told you the genetic engineering may we understand the structure of eukaryote genes and their components the dna libraries which are host culture repositories they have different dna fragments लाइक यू नो इट कैन बी यूज फॉर जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग लाइक सी आपको यहाँ क्लोन्स ऑफ सेल्स बन रहे हैं ओके बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ सेल्स यूर क्रिएटिंग बाई इको लाई और बाई द होस्ट सेल्स यू गेट द डी एन ए लाइब्रेरीज दिस इज वन डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी दिस इज वन डी एन ए लाइब्रेरी टू सो साइंटिस्ट हैव एक्चुअली स्टडीड द सेल्स दे हैव स्टडीड द डी एन ए एंड बाई दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ कटिंग एंड एडिंग एंड लाइगेसिंग एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ दे हैव अंडरस्टूड द एक्चुअल um you carry out you carry out once once which have a nucleus bound right in your cell membrane so they have understood the eukaryote dna structure by the process okay and genome sequencing may also this only happens you go to a particular place and you edit it or you find it okay that is genome sequencing is there then also the gene types of plants are altered like genetically modified crops aapka gm crops jo hote hain wo kya hote hain wo yahi hote hain aap bacillus thuringiensis gene lete ho the bt bt brinjal mein bacillus thuringiensis bacteria se cry a1c gene lete ho aap cry ac1 cry a1c jo gene hota hai that is added to the cotton so that there is more pest resistance there is more uh, increase resistance to drought there is tolerance to herbicide you know there is better uh, productivity and so on and so forth okay that is also again genetic engineering where you using in agriculture similarly animals may be used in animal husbandry uh, like it can be used to improve the disease resistance in cattle pigs poultry then you have genetically engineered bacteria called as superbugs Now the superbugs क्या होते हैं दे केन डीग्रेड द एरोमेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन्स लाइक यू नो लाइक द फर्स्ट सुपरबग इट वॉज एक्चुअली इन्वेंटेड बाई एन इंडियन रिसर्चर आनंद चक्रवर्ती इन यूएसए ही हैड डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम अ स्ट्रेन ऑफ सूडोमोना सूडोमोना बैक्टीरिया जो है उससे ही हैड जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड इट सो दैट इट कैन डीग्रेड योर एरोमेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन सो अगर कोई ऑयल स्पिल हो रहा है चाहे ओशन में कई ऑयल स्पिल हो रहा है दिस सुपरबग विल गो एंड क्लियर ऑफ द ऑयल स्पिल्स so this superbug will go and destroy your octanes 
xylenes, camphors, and tolines, and oil spills can be cleared. Okay, so as industrial applications, we ho sakte. Okay, and pollution abatement. So this is something called as gray biotechnology. If you want to know, gray biotechnology is environmentally you cleaning up. Okay, and jo plants ka dekhe the, this is your green biotechnology. And the human health mein jo hai, which is a red biotechnology. So as I told you, agar koi cancerous cell se, like yo jo hamara bhai sab yo, hey hey JNKI, what he did was this only. He had modified. Uh, from a genetic disease of course hiv is not a genetic disease but it can be passed on genetically so he had cured that disease okay by using the crispr cas9 yeah there are actual genetic diseases like hemophilia hemophilia a b jisse aapko clotting factors nahi hote like hemophilia a se 8 number clotting factor is not there b se 9 number clotting factor is not there so if there's a wound on your body the blood keeps on flowing so that is a genetic condition so that can be corrected अगर इफ दिस अ प्रॉपर जेनेटिक सीक्वेंस जिसमें आपको हेमोफीलिया हो रहा है आपको पता चल रहा है दैट यू कैन गो एंड साइलेंस इट और यू कैन इवन मॉडिफाई इट फाइन दैट इज हेमोफीलिया ए बी और सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस आल्सो इज अ जेनेटिक डिसीज विद रिकॉम्बिनेंट वैक्सीन कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड लाइक हेपेटाइटिस ए और बी वैक्सीन इसमें यही होता है द सेल आई मीन द जीन इज टेकन एंड इट इज रिकम्बाइंड विच विल शो एन एंटीजन एक एंटीजन को दिखाता है दट जीन अंडर द recombinant dna taki that antigen if there is a cell like this this is recombined cell r dna wala and it shows an antigen there is no virus okay virus ke upar antigen hota hai but ye r dna se hi we are showing antigen taki when the antigen is there our body produces antibodies okay hepatitis a and b vaccines were made like this okay and in india we have made our own indigenous vaccine also hepatitis not from foreign we have made our own hepatitis vaccine also and hepatitis c pe a nobel prize in medicine was given recently anyway that's not related here okay and also it is important for creating certain drugs hormones and antibiotics like you know interferons jo interferons hote hai body mein like gamma interferons they cause cancers in the body so Correct interferons can be added by genetic engineering, or human growth hormone can be made to you know curb dwarfism. Kuch log mein there is dwarfism, bahut chote ho jate height mein, kadh mein. So unko human growth hormone can be given. That can be genetically made. And insulin, I have already told you, proteins like insulin can be made, which can be required for type one diabetes. But is it all fine? Is the genetic engineering all fine? There are some issues. a genetic engineering and mostly their ethical issues like you can maybe use genetic engineering for changing the natural human characteristics matlab mano agar aapka race hai if your race if your mongoloid or uh, agar mixed race hai, like indians ka jo hota hai agar if there is one uh, aapka uh, dna mein aisa dna mein there is one particular sequence hai which codes for the color color of the skin that can be changed to white agar mano caucasoid then you are changing the racial characteristics so that becomes an ethical issue can you change a person's race or can you change his intelligence can you change his height okay like michael jackson jo tha he had uh, uh, matlab he had undergone a surgery that was not genetically engineered or anything like that he had undergone a surgery just say he was black he had become white but later in his life he had made songs like uh, they don't really care about us your yeah, world peace and all against racialism and all he had given but could he had become white so at a earlier age he had become white but later he realized that race is a bad thing uh, race say you know there are ethical debates and one shouldn't change his race or so on you know something like that so there is that ethical debate and there is a chance for gene contamination jaise you know our own genetic structure our dna structure is a result of thousands of years of evolution not thousand maybe bigger than that okay jab se homo erectus homo habilis neanderthal man ya australopithecus uh, ramapithecus wo jo hamara evolution ka cycle hai it is based on a careful molecular level genetic evolution aapka genes jo hai carefully they have been evolutionized over uh, many thousands of years jisse aap homo sapiens sapiens bane ho now just by one uh, 
gene editing just by one crispr cas9 ka change you're changing that entire gene so there is a gene contamination so is say you know there can be a superior race eugenics and uh, natural selection ko deviate ho jata hai isse natural selection jo you know the only the survival of the fittest happens that is changed here okay like eugenics for example it is the concept of uh, creating a better race or you know uh, creating better genes jo aapka nazi germany mein tha under adolf hitler this is what they did okay the nazi party of germany this is what they did they had alienated the jews from the nazi from the you know great experiment and uh, the nazi um what do you say the final solution say the final solution say they had alienated the jews and the nazi they had claimed that the aryans they were a superior race and by the eugenics now by this genetic uh, crispr cas9 or genetic engineering this can be possible in the future by this eugenics uh, people can create a superior race just say the other people may be alienated so as a ethical debate say okay and if somebody if you've seen the movie gataka i would strongly recommend you if you need a break from your preparation or if you're preparing for 2021 please watch this movie gataka in which they show this only in a futuristic world um genetically engineered humans are there who have a better intelligence or better height or you know better uh, characteristics and there is a stigma towards a natural human beings agar koi job interview ke liye jata hai they take their blood sample jisse aapka intelligence they measure okay so that sort of uh, ethical debates may arise fine anyway this is a discussion for mains but aapko mains mein this is what you should focus on because crispr cas9 pe it there's a lot of probability that a question can be asked so here we have a question from upsc prelims 2020 ka hai 2020 which happened october 4th so just try to attempt it or go through this question gss rc gataka is the name of a movie okay it is by ethan hawk uh, i mean ethan hawk is the hero okay aap agar sunday agar aapko koi break lena hai you can watch that movie jisme genetic engineering se hi the ethical debates are shown but for people who are giving this year mains please don't watch movies you have very less time abhi ab padhai pe dhyan dijiye fine so this question uh, the first we have genetic changes can be introduced in cell which produce x or sperms of prospective parent this is your gene therapy okay this is a different aspect where uh, ab germline gene cells you are editing so that you'll get a genetic changes and person's genome can be edited before birth at early embryonic stage this is what hjnk had done this is your gene editing fine and there was this controversial statement that human induced pluripotent stem cells can be injected into embryo of a pig uh, for people who have given prelims many of them many of my students had come to me and asked sir what is this ridiculous statement what is the answer for this and at the face of it it looks false but there was some research going on somewhere that uh, they had done this actually they had introduced into pig though the experiment was not successful that's why they have told can be injected it can be injected there's a possibility so the answer is 1 2 3 okay so okay. so so aise aapko statements dikhenge but there is no other option saying 1 and 2 so you should be able to take a chance though some of them is saying sir 1 ka 1 to pakka correct hai answer should be 1 ya 2 to pakka correct hai answer should be 2 3 ka doubt hai but kya kar sakte hai agar best possible answer is 1 2 3 and actually uh, hua hai research the human induced pluripotent cells were actually added another question from upsc prelims please try to attempt this question which of the following are not correct let us see the question 
functional chromosomes can be created by joining segments of DNA from cells of different species. See, you DNA to change kar paoge, gene to edit kar paoge. But the DNA only, it's bound as uh, chromatin on histones and the chromatin, it becomes chromosomes. So, you chromosome to nahi bana paoge. This is a very big challenge. There are 3.2 billion base pairs of DNA in your body. And they are, they are there and 46 chromosomes. So, like entire chromosome, it can't be created. And that too, from different species, you can't do it. Okay. That is the answer. Answer is A. Let us see the other ones. Piece of artificial functional DNA can be created. I had told you. Functional DNA they have created in labs. Then piece of DNA from animal cell can be made to replicate outside living cell. Yes, obviously. Under E. coli, the recombinant DNA can be replicated. Cells taken out from plants can be made to undergo cell division in lab conditions. Yeah, this also can be done. Okay. So you can see one is incorrect. Uh, two US researchers, they have made artificial DNA. It can create new synthetic proteins. And uh, this double-stranded DNA templates are replicated in vitro DNA replication. So, you bacteriophage se DNA replication genes. Hai. Statement 3 is correct. And micropropagation also is done. In chlamydomonas cells, it can be done. 4 is correct. One is incorrect. Entire chromosomes you can't make. Okay. So that is all there is about the genetic engineering and the recent advances related to it. And to, to watch the full classes, like this is part of our explanation of genetic engineering, uh, biotechnology and uh, gene therapy, you know, the stem cell therapy. There's an entire course on the genetic engineering biotechnology that is part of science and tech. So you can get access to our full courses by just one subscription. One subscription of Grade Up Super Se, you get the access to 11 structured live courses, 11 plus, and there are 60 plus mock tests. And this is there for all the UPSC exams, I mean, related UPSC jo exam hai amara, and also EPFO. Like, isme aapko, by taking one Grade Up Super subscription, you get access of IAS 2021, which is aapka prelims comes mains batch, English, Hindi, dono mein hai, and complete NCRT module. The Pura NCRT is from 6 to 12, they will be covered. And we also have upcoming courses like for EPFO, very soon it's being launched. For EPFO, a master course is already in there. But for people who are taking now, since the exam is in May 2021, and there are 400 plus enforcement officer posts. So it's a very important exam. So for that, a comprehensive course will be launched. Then economic and social development, Indian and world geography, environment and ecology, Indian polity and governance history and general science okay general science i myself would be taking the entire comprehensive course and uh, apart from the grade up super subscription as you know we have free series on grade up app you can just download our app go to upsc exams and under the prepare tab niche aapko prepare tab dikhta hai prepare tab ke andar uh, you can find the Daily free me job ko milta hai. Like every day at 12 o'clock, we have our daily editorial analysis. Sharp 12 o'clock, it's there. Every day, jo newspapers say most important editorials are discussed. Then uh, 5 o'clock, you have EPFO pay important topics. 8 o'clock, you have uh, prelims 2021 kill important topic. And 9 o'clock, you have your UPSC manthan, which is daily current affairs. And apart from that, on YouTube also, we have classes like this very class. Uh, like this one o'clock class, it is for 2021 CSC, and three o'clock also we have another class today for EPFO, right? So of course we would definitely uh, suggest you to please download the app, right? So that you'll get a proper idea. Uh, and there are more courses also, right? On the Grade Up app, and you can definitely try out our Grade Up Super subscription also because आपको कोई भी headache नहीं होना चाहिए when you're preparing for IAS. Just one subscription. You get all the courses. It's not like you take one course here, one course here, one course here. All courses you get to one place. Fine. Um, GSS is asking, I have a doubt in op optional marks evaluation. Optional sub-marks competition among all the between. Uh, see, the optional marks evaluation has, has not been told by UPSC officially. But from the rumors and from the general knowledge and for, from people who worked in UPSC, the standard practice is of, you know, they um, 
there is a standardization of marks. So based on the level of toughness or based on uh, the previous year analysis, the UPSC examiners, they have some standardization of marks. So if you are taking a subject, le rahe, like presently many people are taking anthropology or political science. So there is a limit unto which the selection of PSIR can be done based on the standardization. Yeah, for subjects like maths, in maths, for example, you can get full marks if you answer all the questions. So there is a standardization. So there is something like that. Um, but I didn't get your second doubt. Optional submark is among all subjects or between particular subject. It is among all subjects, definitely. Standardization is between all subjects, not in a particular subject. In a particular subject, they arrive at the um, cutoff or, you know, they arrive at the toughness of it based on the analysis of the previous years and so on. Okay. There was a Supreme Court case on this. UPSC had told this. But nobody knows if the process is still being followed. This is what in the general knowledge it is there. Okay. So thank you so much people for attending this class. Hopefully we'll meet in another live class or better still we'll meet in the Great Up Super class. Okay. Of Science and Technology. So stay tuned to Great Up. Prep smart. Score better. And go Great Up. Thank you so much.